Ich bleibe dabei. Ich gehe davon aus, dass Clem und AJ in die gleiche Situation kommen werden wie damals Clem und Lee. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? Das wäre Full Circle. Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. Gerade weil we ran into in the woods that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <lacht> I'm I'm confused, I guess. Das ist ähm, ähm, gerade auch mit dem, dass Lily wieder da ist und alles, das führt alles an den Anfang zurück. You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie, the real Minnie, she's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Louis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he... He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis, Omar, Asim. We'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. Danke. Was ist das? Nehmen Anstecker. Sprechen Deutsch. Stars. So you never forget that night. Stars. I never will. Ich wusste es doch schon immer. Clem ist Nemesis. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? Nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. Aww, is that süß. Wer von den beiden führt? Clem, oder? Das Ganze würde wahrscheinlich ein bisschen besser wirken, wenn da tatsächlich auch Musik laufen würde. Aber okay. Ist auch so eine schöne Szene. Die ich mit meinem Geplapper gerade komplett kaputt gemacht habe. Getting better at being romantic. <lacht> yeah. Oh, wir müssen auf Y aufpassen. Hey, Clem! Alter Junge! <lacht> da war ich jetzt so <lacht> absolut nicht drauf wow. vorbereitet. <lacht> Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <lacht> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. <laughs> It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! Aww. Das ist doch echt die Ruhe vor dem Sturm. Vor allem, wenn ich bedenke, dass das die vorletzte Episode der gesamten Geschichte ist. Das Ende naht. I love you, Clem. Das ist die fucking Schlacht von Winterfell. Back, kiddo. Okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. 
Okay. Nur einen Schluck trinken jetzt hier. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. So you take one of those black plates also, and you put it Ist Clem doch die neue Anführerin hier, oder? Uh huh. And now you just have to turn that crank on the side. Huh, that's really cool. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Room gets natural moonlight, so something to complement that maybe. Red, definitely red. I'll make it happen. Okay, ich bin ganz ehrlich, rot habe ich jetzt nur gewählt, weil das mit einer meiner Lieblingsfarben ist. Obwohl Purpur ist auch geil, aber wir, wir gucken mal. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Es ist immer Jazz in diesen Geschichten. Up until he ditched us all. What's Jazz sound like? Uh, well, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. This place is gonna look great. Ich will's hoffen. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Wie schnell die jetzt plötzlich alle Clementine akzeptiert haben hier, ne? Also entweder sind alle die, die dafür gewotet haben, dass die hier rausfliegen, äh, von den Raidern mitgenommen oder getötet worden. Check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. Oder unser Einsatz für die Schule. Hat die Meinung. What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. Okay. We're gonna blow up the boat. Oi. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, Wer sind Simon and Piggy? Simon is dead, Piggy is dead. Clem, I'm sorry for before. Ralph's next. About how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Yeah, und der Kleider geht richtig ab. Ich sag's doch, der ist total knuffig heute. Sogar Rosie feiert mit. Kommt Rosie eigentlich auch mit oder bleibt Rosie hier und bewacht die Schule? Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. 
but just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. Okay. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Große Bomben in der Geschichte haben immer einen Namen, genau. Yeah, absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah. I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. Es, es, es konnte einfach keins von den anderen sein. Es konnte nicht. <lacht> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Uh-oh. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Das ist Willi, oder? Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. Stimmt, da war was. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. You used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> Ganz genau. I said I was sorry. <laughs> you guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Schweigen. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh, don't you dare. <laughs> oh. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Country music! West of Loathing. <coughs> Sorry. Weiß nicht, was der über gekommen ist. I realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Oh, man. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Sorry. I can't do anything for you, but sorry. To me, to the most. Whose is it? Lewis. Ui. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. 
You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, and she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand and uh, used that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. Das ist harter Tobak. She shipped me off to Ericsson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like. What you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. This is richtig. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Yeah, okay. sing for us. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh, I can do that. I have the whole time angst that Violet stirbt and Clementine can't happy end. Kriegt.
Beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Das war wunderschön. Oh, wir sind schon auf dem Weg zurück, wa? Nein! Das ist eine Rückblende, das ist... Wo ist er? Oh, ich finde ich find das so schön, wie die vierte Staffel so viele Anspielungen und Rückbezüge auf die erste hat. Das Ganze... Why the train? You always pick the train. Am Ende full circle geht. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Das ist so cool. Ich liebe es. Ich liebe es. You taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl. Who loves you? They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. 
they meant what I said. Every single one of my friends is a fighter. We'll make it. I'm just, you know, talking myself up to it. <sighs> to think when I cut your hair. I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. But you... You have a knack for surviving. You've kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem. A natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. short um you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days <laughs> time to go clementine you've got people that need you <gasps> goodbye lee Was für eine geniale Szene. Die wollte ich gerade auch nicht mit meinem Gelaber kaputt machen. Die wollte ich einfach mal auf uns alle wirken lassen eben. Ich vermisse Lee.